Welcome to Orange County's Kitchen. I'm Celeste White and I'm here today with Jamila Adams and we're going to talk about the best convenience food buys. Hi Jamila. Hi Celeste. Tell me something, is convenience food a good thing or a bad thing? Um, there are some pros and some cons to convenience foods. Um, the pros are quite obvious. They're just easy. <laughs> um, they don't require much meal prep uh, mm -hmm. preparation. Um, no thought really behind them or time is involved when using prepared foods. Mm -hmm. um, what we can do though is uh, those foods tend to be higher in certain things such as, such as fat, sodium, and sugar. So today we're going to talk about how to modify those types of things when we do purchase convenience foods. So to make them just a little bit just better for us. Just a little bit healthier. Um, so what kind of things are we talking about when we're talking about convenience foods? I mean, I know things in a box. And frozen, frozen, canned, mm -hmm. ready to use. It doesn't really matter. Mm -hmm. Things that are very easy, require minimal preparation, um, that type of thing. Right, and a lot of packaged foods are already prepared foods, which mm -hmm. are convenient, and I, yeah, I certainly convenient. use them. But you have some good ideas here about how to modify them. Um, and one of them is the pizza, right? Yes. This is just a frozen cheese pizza. Mm -hmm. um, we baked it off, of course, but before we did that, we added some lean protein and a little bit of fruit to it to make our own Hawaiian version. Pam, Pam. Mm -hmm. So you really, and you could add all kinds of things to a, pe a frozen all cheese pizza. All kinds of things. And the reason why we chose the cheese is because we we're in control of that. Mm -hmm. The amount of meat, the amount of produce or whatever we add, we're in control of that. Good. And so we have some other good ideas, but you have a recipe for me today to make something of something convenience food better. Correct. It's going to be similar to a traditional canned soup. Mm -hmm. And you know they can traditionally be very high in sodium. Mm -hmm. So we can always find some type of soup that's um, a little lower in sodium. Mm -hmm. um, here we've got a healthy request, healthy request version of it. So what we're going to do is just open that up, Celeste. Convenient. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very much so. Yes. Okay. And I'm going to put this in the pot. Mm -hmm. This is chunky chunk corn chowder. chowder. Mm -hmm. That healthy request. Looks good, just as it is. But well, how are we going to make this better? Um, what we're going to do is we're going to add a little vegetables to okay. it. Okay. Um, and we've just those are mixed vegetables, mm -hmm. frozen. Mm -hmm. They can heat right along with the soup as it's heating. Mm -hmm. Stir those in. Okay, and, and that already looks better. Yes, it gives it color, that pop mm -hmm. of color that it needed. It also provides us with a little bit of fiber mm -hmm. from those fruits and vegetables. Mm -hmm. So now we're gonna put this on the hot plate to cook. Yes, we are. And so, um, all kinds of different things that we can add to while we're waiting for that to heat up mm -hmm. um, is here we have ramen noodles, which, mm -hmm. you know, is a staple, but what could we add to ramen noodles that would make them better? Ramen noodles are a, 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 a particular staple for college students. Yes, they are. I remember these very vividly. <laughs> <laughs> but they can be very high in sodium. Mm -hmm. So you don't want to use the entire seasoning pack there. Oh. And then again, too, you can chunk mm -hmm. up some lean chicken or protein mm -hmm. and add to that, and some vegetables, as and we've done with those noodles there. And here you have, yes, you bought the already ready to eat mm -hmm. uh, noodle dish, and then you've added to this. What did you add to this one? We've added chunk chicken and some broccoli, mm -hmm. and it's a, also a whole grain product, mm -hmm. which adds more fiber. Oh, so this one is whole grain. This is a whole grain and product. And then you've added vegetable, and you could add any vegetable. You've any added broccoli vegetable. and chicken. What about a prepared salad? Um, salads, fruits and vegetables mm -hmm. are nature's convenience food mm -hmm. already. <laughs> <laughs> that whole fruit, that fresh vegetable is already ready. All we have to do is wash it and eat it. Well, Jamila, I want to thank you for showing me all these ways we can make convenience foods better. Yes. I'm going to have to taste the soup. This one already made. Mm. We'll see you next time in Orange County's Kitchen. <laughs>